TSF's camera department tested 11 wireless transmission systems, integrating a great variety of shooting conditions which our clients face on a daily basis. We use the most current wireless systems as well as the latest products arriving on the market. The various shooting conditions are the following. Outdoors, in a straight line, with an open view. Indoors, in a TSF studio. An outdoor wireless test, with the transmitter inside a car moving around the building. And the receiver in another car, static. An indoor test in a staircase. Finally, an indoor wireless test in the corridors of our projection theatre. We also use our spectrum analyzer in order to obtain objective results on the frequency used by the wireless systems and on their transmission power. We fit a red weapon with a C-Motion command, a Kamin 3M C-Volution, as well as two C-Force Mini motors. The first test aims at checking the range of each system outside, where there are no obstacles blocking the reception. We move the trolley carrying the wireless receiver, a 17-inch monitor and a PIX240 recorder. The camera stays at the fixed point. Once the video signal is lost, we measure the distance traveled from a mark on the ground with a laser pointer. We return to the camera receiver to fit another wireless system. We repeat the operation with all systems. During this first test, only two transmission systems went way over the 500 meters mark. The Teradec Bolt 3000, and the CVW Viper 300. For the second test, our aim is to see how the different wireless systems react outside, around buildings. We fit a receiver on the roof of the first vehicle and plug it to the monitors on the trolley. For this, we use a fixed car for the receivers and the second car driving with camera and transmitter. Depending on the compression coding, some images disappear softly and pixelate, Neptech microlight systems for instance, while others disappear suddenly, Teradec Ball 300. This can also depend on the error correction integrated in some wireless systems. This COFDM corrector, coded orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, offers greater range but a longer video transmission delay due to a longer decoding process. It is the case of the DTC Solo 7 Nano and the Neptech Microlite. All other wireless systems rest on a multiplexing technique called MIMO, noticeable with their multiple antennas. Small but important detail. We are using antennas supplied with the basic kits for wireless systems. For some systems, you can find amplifying antennas which can considerably increase the EIRP, equivalent isotropically radiated power. That is, the electrical power applied to the antenna multiplied by the antenna's own gain. It is measured in dBm. A conversion into milliwatts is done through a mathematical formula. We repeat this drive with all wireless systems. We also noted in purple on the chart the system which reconnect the video signal quickly and where they do it. A third test consists in observing behavior in a two-story concrete staircase separating transmitter and receiver.
Once the wireless receiver is installed, we move the trolley away, starting from the ground floor. We move through a concrete stockroom, past an aluminum crane. The coding principle used for transmitter receiver emission is a repetition of the initial image. We therefore apply panoramic movement to stop this repetition and bring on possible disconnections. Some wireless systems manage to broadcast all the way to the end of the stockroom. Few maintain the signal outside. We make some changes in focus and diaphragm during the test to see if they have any incidence on the wireless systems. No interference is observed on the wireless commands. These commands are carried on a frequency of 2.4 GHz, while the wireless video systems transmit on frequencies between 5.1 and 5.9 GHz. In this force test, the camera moves through plasterboarded corridors. Reaching the end of the corridor is rather dramatic for the wireless systems as the wall of our projection theatre are made of three layers of plasterboard, a layer of mineral foam, 60 cm of air, a new layer of mineral foam and three layers of plasterboard. Let's observe the behaviour of the video signal on the receiver screen. We notice a signal pickup on the Teradec Ball 3000 and Neptec Microlight wireless systems. We notice that antenna positioning is of crucial importance for the range of reception. We advise you to orient them in different directions, as you can see here. Finally, we run a test in our TSF studios. For this test, we watch the range of the wireless receivers while multiplying obstacles. In order to disturb frequencies, we switch on all the other wireless systems at our disposal. Those devices equipped with a DFS, dynamic frequency selection, can automatically switch their frequency channel if it is being used by other parasite frequencies. The path for this test starts in the TSF studio. We then move through the TSF grip warehouse filled with metal shelving. In spite of these obstacles, some wireless systems managed to reach the Cine Boutique stockroom before losing the signal.
We repeat this path after adding HMI and LED lighting to observe possible disturbance. We can safely conclude that none of these lights disturb the wireless systems. The other wireless transmitters, on the contrary, disturb the DFS systems. To resolve this, you must switch these systems to non-DFS and allocate them a fixed frequency. With the spectral frequency analyzer, we can see that most of the wireless systems respect transmission power standards. One of the fundamental criteria consists in measuring for each wireless system its transmission power and its bandwidth. The signal reaches here minus 40 dBm and starts at minus 60 dBm. Amplitude is therefore 20 dBm, or exactly 100 mW. Bandwidth also differs on some systems. Contrary to popular belief, the narrower the bandwidth, the greater the system stability. It has the effect of reducing disturbance. This is the reason why bandwidth is narrower on expensive wireless systems. You can download the results chart for this test on our website. We hope that you will find this test useful. You can also find all of our tests on the same website.